Good morning everyone, Frank Valkyria here, welcome to the channel. Today I want to go over the trailer of Avenger Endgame and go a little bit more into details and speculate on theories on how the movie can develop. As soon as we start the trailer we see Tony adrift in the Milano, the guardian of the galaxy ship and it seems that he's alone and recording an holographic message for Potts, his girlfriend. And we also learn that the water is finished four days previous and the oxygen will finish the day after, wanting to hint to the fact that it's very close to the end for him. But we also know that Nebula was with him on Titan when the battle took place and uh, that Tony was also injured on that planet. And here we see him not injured with a clean shirt and at the same time later on we also see Nebula in what we recognize as being the Guardian of the Galaxy ship again because from other images we can recognize that so we have to think that she's with him and probably both of them because Tony is a genius after all and we know that the Milano is capable also to travel and jump through space so going anywhere they want they might come up with a solution last minute because they find a way to make it work the two of them so another option can be the Captain Marvel that was just introduced in the Marvel Universe with the trailer that I also reacted to uh, can go and probably save Tony because we know she's probably the most powerful character in MCU so that's a possibility as well and uh, the fact that Tony is healing because we don't see the wound it's uh, uh, it doesn't tell us how long it's passed but at the same time on Earth uh, we see that not a lot of time has passed since the event of Avenger Infinity War. Anyway, that it's not clear because we have no reference to understand how long Tony has been in space and how much resources they have used. So, it might be very well that they have been there already drifting for weeks or maybe a month until the resources have finished. But we also have Thor on planet Earth. We see him, we see him with the rest of the Avengers, at least we see him in a room, we don't know where that is. But we know that he has lost everyone, he has lost his brother, he has lost half of the population from Asgard and probably another 25% more of who was left after Thanos snapped his finger. And another option could be also that I read around that Miss Potts could be the one saving Tony because there was an image of, of uh, the character Miss Potts dressed in a, in a sort of Iron Man suit. The most important thing we see back to Hurt is that Bruce Banner is going over the people missing and we have Sherry and we have Ant-Man which they're missing and we know that Ant-Man was lost in the quantum realm and afterwards at the end of the trailer we see that actually Ant-Man is there talking to Captain America asking him to let him in, to buzz him in and we also see that he has the trailer, the van that inside contains the mechanism and the machine with which he jump into the quantum realm. So we have Bruce Banner, perhaps if uh, Sherry didn't die because of the dusting, they could make it together with Ant-Man work the portal and probably that is gonna have a, a very big impact on the story. We don't know how the time traveling and the parallel universe story will unfold, but we know that somehow they either have to go back in time through the quantum realm to a parallel reality which will create a lot of other paradoxes because if the timeline uh, of Infinity War keeps going they will not change if they jump into a different universe they can change these are the universe creating another timeline perhaps and that could be also the case that the timeline of Infinity War will keep going and uh, we will just create a different universe with a different ending so it's going to be interesting to see how it's gonna tie to Thanos and if they go on the planet where now Thanos he just hang his armor as a scarecrow and he's walking to a field of fruits we can see he still has the gauntlet attached to his hand we don't know why uh, maybe he cannot take it off but we see that it's broken but we also don't know if the gauntlet still has some of the stones and has some of the functionality that he can still exercise some power so we don't know maybe he's keeping it on because he's afraid that somebody's gonna show up so he wants to be ready and we know from the comics that somebody will show up it will be interesting to see who is gonna go on that planet to search for Thanos 
Hanau and Hif, they're gonna bring back the characters that we love. It's also important to remember that in the trailers of the MCU movies, sometimes there are things shown which they don't actually happen, or at least some little details, like for instance, the Hulk walking together in Wakanda in the, in the battle scene, which we know afterwards that in the real movie it wasn't there. So it could also very well be that some of the things that we saw in the trailer are there just to uh, confuse us. For instance, we see Captain America talking to Black Widow and telling her that if the plan doesn't go to fruition, he doesn't know what he's gonna do with himself. That is telling us that a plan was created and they're carrying it on. So what it is, we don't know yet, but for sure we know it's gonna happen. So. Anyway, it's gonna be interesting to see also how Captain Marvel, she's gonna tie in with the rest of the Avengers and if she has a bigger role in the Endgame movie. So I really look forward to see, first of all, Captain Marvel that happens just a month before and after to see the Avengers Endgame and how the story is gonna tie with everything else and if they're gonna bring back our favorite Avengers. So, for the moment, we can only speculate and share our theories. I would love to hear your theories regarding where the story can possibly go. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And as always, spread love, and I'll see you next time.